my quick room tour if it's going to be quick or not i don't know but if you've been watching me you know i've been purging i've been getting rid of stuff because um a couple of reasons number one we hope to move soon of course the soon might not be until next year around september or so um but you know the thought of moving and trying to drag everything with me gives me a headache <laughs> the other reason is because i have evolved from like when I first started on YouTube, all the crafts I used to do, I've evolved. And now it's more of a shop. So this is my shop instead of a craft room, even though I still craft in here. But it's all shop related now. So everything that I need to make my planners and accessories. Um, and I do these dash a lot also. So, And if I do want to make crafts, uh, any projects for swaps or gifts or anything... I plan on just buying it as I need, if I need to. So, no need to keep so much stuff, you know, and hoard and hoard and hoard like we all do. So, I decided let's just, you know, slimline my product and supplies. So, uh, that also meant getting rid of a lot of storage, which I didn't need. Of course, the more storage I had, the more I wanted to fill all the drawers and boxes and containers so another reason you know to get rid of that stuff plus it made more room in here just feels more spacious um and when i we do need to use this room as a spare room we can clear the floor by just moving this over and put an air mattress down so my in-law my mother-in-law is coming next week she gets our room of course and we get to sleep here so another reason why i wanted to make more space this way this thing doesn't have to be out in my living room. I could just, it's going to fit in that spot there. So, um, let me just open this up a bit and then I'll go back because I can't record in this mode. But here's this, the room. I don't know what size it is. It's the smallest of the two. I'm in a two bedroom. And that's kind of like an overall look of it. Let me go back. And I'll try to explain things. I don't really want to go into every single drawer and container but I'll do what I can and I'll also if I know where things came from I'll let you know but the majority of the storage that I have is old uh, so like the rec recollection pieces I don't think they even carry anymore but I'll still let you know where they were from so here we go another updated room tour June What's today? Well, I don't know the date, but June 2019. Let's get started. So we're going to start over here. This piece here, this giant piece, I love it and I hate it because I can't move it. And I am one that likes to move things around. I'm constantly changing. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this. And it's so big and it hasn't moved since I got it. It's from Ikea. It's called an Expedite, but now they have a new one with a different name. So, um, and they have different sizes as well, but I do love it and I love that I can fit what you see in there. And over here, this really doesn't have much purpose other than decor and I'm just going to, I'm not going to explain where everything is from, but a lot of the pieces were made for me. I only have a couple of items of my own that are still up. And then this corner here, this is the spot that I'm going to move this over. So, um... I do have some pieces. These I all I made myself, I think. Yeah, all three of these I made. And this is, they're two peg boards, metal ones. Not really pegs in there, but hooks. Those are from Target that I got around springtime. They're from the dollar spots. And then the wire basket I hung on there is from Hobby Lobby, which they were clearancing at the time, so I don't know if they carry those anymore. But you can kind of see what I'm using it for. I was hanging these things on the hooks but I decided just to, because I took out, I had some pouches in there with stickers. I took them out. Those stickers are for my brother when he shows up. I'm going to come over here and show you what I don't usually like to share. But this is my two-door closet. This side you will not see, but um, it's packaging, uh, mostly like the shipping boxes that I use. And up here, like from here all the way to the edge, all the way to the top is storage containers filled with things that are not out Mostly holiday, but also projects and stuff that people have given to me that I can't have everything out. So just empty containers. My husband also shares this space with me with things that he sells on his um, on eBay. So like these, actually these two are his. Uh, 
and like this and this is his. This was supposed to be primarily eBay stuff, but I took over with those bins. These colored ones are from Michaels. They're normally ten dollars. I got them when they were five, but then these two clear ones are only I think they were three ninety nine. Yeah, three ninety nine from Tuesday morning. If I had more room, I probably would get two more, um, unless I go up here. This box is boots, so I think I'm going to donate the boots, and then maybe I can grab a couple more since they're so cheap. I, I am keeping themed paper embellishments, stickers in here. Um, like one is unicorn, one's mermaid, one's sweet treat. There's a couple that are mixed together. Um, this way when I do a theme, I could just pull out one of these and I'll have the majority of what would go with that theme. On the side is like tissue and uh, gift bags. This is a roll. And I think it's only a couple of yards maybe of vinyl that I got from Joann's. All the wrapping paper that I keep saying that I use for planners. I do occasionally make covers with these, just I don't always do it. Probably because it's hiding in here. <laughs> But there's all different rolls. There's the short rolls also from Hobby Lobby. So that's pretty much it in here. There's a couple of bags of things I'm going to donate. So now we come back. Um, let me go this way. I hope I don't get too shaky. So right here we got two units also from Michaels. They're really old. Probably don't exist anymore. I don't know. The two blue bins are from TJ Maxx. And this is my in and out box area. For bills and things that need to get sorted and filed later on down here this is more shop stuff again and the two top ones are for um, my elastics that I use for the planners I have links in the description box below for everything that I buy um, but the majority a lot of stuff is mainly from like Michaels Joann's uh, Hobby Lobby. So here again, like I'll have links to the rings for the ring bound planners, Dollar Tree stuff that I like to gift. That's the stuff that I add to my sales again here too. So just, you know, shop related stuff. Again, please check out the description box. There's a lot of information down there. I don't have time to answer comments anymore. So if you wonder why I don't answer, I just don't, unfortunately. All right, so above here, my planner desk. Now it's not a officially a crafty desk anymore. Let me just show you up here too. So my husband installed that shelf. Okay, so coming down. Um, this is just a file thing from Target. So I just put some things that I gravitate to occasionally. Not occasionally, often. <laughs> And over here, these are two L units, also from Michaels. They were on clearance, and I was lucky to get them for $3 and change, even though, according to them, it wasn't supposed to be that price. But I had to fight for it because the ticket, the sticker on the package said that. And what I have here are just planner supplies. Now, I just showed you a haul that I picked up this little thing with goo and a Gugon goo goo bottle, and I put that in. It all fit in here. So I'm going to test it out. I'm sure it's going to work because you just flip the lid. You take a cotton swab or in my case, I'm going to use a paper towel. You push that little thing inside and then it brings up the liquid. So because I don't like spraying the goo gun, I like to just put it on a paper towel and just clean my vinyl. <clears throat> Sorry. And what we have here are these colored bins here and that. That's all from Hobby Lobby. And in those there, there are the project life cards and these little drawers are all for making dangles and paper clips and those are from Target dollar spots when they had them they're all individual they're not together normally up here are recollections <coughs> actually I don't know if that's the name recollections or not but they are from Hobby Lobby and there's three units that I use for all my binder clips and paper clips they do interlock if you needed to on the side and on the top so I only have bought the three to fit perfectly here and that little basket is Hobby Lobby that there was um, project life cards in there but I moved them and you'll see I have some a bigger you know bigger sizes okay so down below my planners and sticker book in this this is from Michaels I got it on clearance all these bins are from Michaels no Take that back from Hobby Lobby. It's 
got all my adhesives that I would normally use that cat was gifted to me. Then up here, I should turn on my light, is these are sold separately and the bar too. Those are from Ikea. So these are like daily pens. Those are decorative pens that I rarely use. And those are Dollar Tree and scissors and things. So now we go up to here. So these black tiered pieces are from the Target Dollar Spot. And all the jars on the bottom are from Dollar Tree. The jars on the top are sold at Big Lots for like 89 cents or less. I can't remember. So mostly for beading stuff, you know, for my dangles and whatnot. And these two acrylic drawers are from Michaels. They're made for your washi. Um, and in these kind of things here are just my own personal stuff. Some more of the Target drawers which mainly has paper clips shaped paper clips and we go over here some of the gifted or uh, handmade pin what are they called wands this is currently empty this is where my cat hangs out sometimes she also hangs out down here there's my mink i'm so thirsty right now um and down below we have this is a kitchen um like a kitchen counter thing Okay, so there's two containers here. The bottom one is for sewing. The top one has all my handmade clips and dangles. And then this one just has extra containers and things. The pink was, I think someone gifted me that from Daiso. And then the others are from Hobby Lobby. So they're just extra stuff in case I need them. These bins are also from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And in here are the larger Project Life cards and the sets that I recently got so I put them in there down below this container holds all things that were gifted to me made for me from swaps just gifts um, giveaways are in here they're also in this thing and in another place because I got so many and I've yet to use anything <laughs> um, these two here one of them is just greeting cards like note cards you know small ones which i like to cut down and use in planners these are all the vinyl scraps and glitter thing stopped this is that dollar tree tote i just got and i put in my personal planner supplies in there like stickers and stuff a lot of them were gifted to me um so i put them in here this is just for me when i'm planning nothing for the shop over here are just some tools that I use. Nothing down below because I used to have things down there. So down here, this tote keeps changing around too, but right now it's holding packaging material. Mostly the cello, solo, cello bags, whatever they're called. My other printer, this is my inkjet. I have rarely been using it since I got my laser, but if I need to, it is hooked up and ready to use. And then here is just, this is empty now, um, but right now I use it as a, like a foot lifter. Like I keep my feet flat on that. Because <clears throat> I have to have this high enough so I can reach the desk. And that keeps my feet dangling. You need to have your feet flat when you sit. So here's my laser. <clears throat> I do have my equipment down below, models and makes and everything in the description box. So this is my file cabinet. The bottom one is bills. Now I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna like show you what is in here now because I got rid of a lot of stuff. These are my business cards. And then here, so these are all my little things that I go to often when making dangles. Okay, and then over here, this is, this part down here, not this, all of this was sold as a, um, not a kit, but, you know, they were sold all together at Target.com. It was on sale when I got it, but they do sell them separately, and it is one, two, three, four, five pieces. You put it together, and it's definitely a lot better quality than the ones that I got from um, Michael's. The top piece is from Michaels. I hate it, but eventually I need to 
replace it with something better. But this is all my printing paper. And since I do have two machines, I need different kinds of paper. And I also have sticker paper, shipping label paper, and, you know, that kind of stuff. I do have this out here. I, um, I did get a new one, a new scotch, in case my mink wasn't working. Um, I was having issues laminating with it, but then I didn't realize you're supposed to use the pouch with the mink and then you're laminating sheets. So I found out that that's working fine. So I'm actually going to put this away. I haven't done it yet, um, but I don't want to break it trying to get this thing back in, which, oh, well, there you go. Of course, I, do. I was trying it earlier. So I'm going to put that away, but keep it as a backup. Um, it does work well. It just takes a lot longer than um, the mink to heat up. Okay, so we've got our silhouette here. I have the, I guess the first one, I don't know, because I see number three out there and I think there's a four. Eventually I want to get an updated one or an upgraded one, but I do have the silhouette business program for this. Okay, so over here we have all our smaller paper pads. My shipping tape, more sticker paper, my sequin collection, which has overgrown and I really didn't want to, but, and it's double, it's, it's double in there, see, both of them. All these containers are from two places, from um, Walmart and Hobby Lobby, but it has extended to this. So this is all sequins and shaker stuff. <laughs> And some flowers, which I turned into dangles, so I just put them in there. Up here, we've got this stuff here. So, and I just recently finished organizing everything because I had to put away everything I bought. I actually emptied out some of these beads into these Dollar Tree things here. And then I had put crayon boxers from Dollar Tree in here, so that's where I plan on putting my die cuts. But that's how I'm using that. And down below is all my 12 by 12. Aside from the bins that I showed you in my closet, there's more that go with the themes. On the sides, I just tuck in all these big things like my, my mats and stuff like that. Over here is my, um, <clears throat> I need to move these. I'm going to put those on my little kitchen island thing. But this is my Rascog from Ikea. And it's just primarily, these two are supposed to be for just the planners that are in the shop. These I've taken out of the shop so that I can redo them with fabric. But, yeah. And there I have some pom-poms. I'm going to move this. And the smaller sleeves and pockets, sticky pockets and all that kind of stuff are in here. The small laminating pouches. So let me scoot that over and get to the expedite. We're almost there. And there are larger alterable items, which I decided to keep still a few things. And in here, what do I have? Oh, gosh. Okay, so there's holiday, Chris, uh, Valentine's, and Halloween, whatever I kept. And there's just a mishmash of things in here that I don't need to get too often unless I'm going to work on those kind of things. But I kept a few of everything. So over here are some stickers that are in those long, you know, packaging. Sticky notes in this one. Adhesives of all types, even my pop dots and stuff because I haven't been using them. And down here is paint, glitter. I only have one thing of paint. Glitter, gesso, sealer, you know, extra stuff. And this is all planner related. Some more stickers down here that are not in any of the themed containers. Uh paper doilies, some list pads. In here I have, sorry, my cat and kit and dog collection um, for planners. Extra pens and things and washi that I didn't have room for. Over here, these are, let's see, two, four, six iris containers. The big ones that come with the small containers inside. This one's completely empty. And then these, here is one that I won't be going into often, but it's all the bling and halfback pearls. I actually have a couple of empty containers in there. This is the flower collection. All flowers and color coordinated. In here we have holiday, elastic, 
mostly holiday stuff. Plastic spoons. There's an empty one in here. Then over here, these two are all planner for sure. There's dangles. From here down, it's all pens for the planners. Now I'm not going to be able to get this back in. There we go. Um, tassels, bows. Over here, there are going to be more tassels and bows and pom-poms. One or two empty containers, large clips. And, yeah, that kind of stuff. Now I got to get up. Oh, no, wait, one more thing. Over here, like this container here is stuff that was gifted to me and from swaps. And those are the little, the small embellishment boxes that we were making. That died down already. You know, all these things, they die down. And that's why I didn't want to keep so much stuff. Okay, so there's chipboard back there. This is actually open somewhere. But I've got my tool, whatever I kept, and straws. And few other things that I kept in case I want to work on more projects and then up here and I forgot to mention these containers are sold at big lots you only get two with a lid but you can as you can see hook up more than just the two um, normally they are nine not nine dollars when I used to buy them they were only six dollars so this is all the trim that I kept and doily stuff in here empty so this is a target piece which I intend on getting rid of a few more and just keeping maybe just one row of them these are Walmart drawers and they're like cardboard type I don't like them anymore because as you can see where where is it okay first of all it slides as you're trying to open it and then push one the other one open so I got a lot of embellishments here and here and this is mostly die cuts that I kept. <clears throat> um, that's a rack that I'm putting together. So in here I just got some stuff that I put away uh, that were made for me. I can't keep it all out, especially since my cat likes to chew on some stuff. Until I can, if when we move, I would love to have like a curio cabinet to put things behind glass. Um, over here are shipping supplies like the shred and that kind of stuff. But I, I want to use this for shaker too. In here is my own private planner collection. This are binders with my digitals. Mostly my digitals. Sorry if I'm too close. I can't. I'm trying to look at what I'm pulling out at the same time show you. And in here I put my fabric and foam. There's some extra envelopes. Okay, we're almost done. I really don't love doing these room tours. <laughs> now over here, which, let me take these out because you can't see. I just threw this in here. These things from uh, Office Depot don't get. The little zipper things break. They do not work. So I'm going to cut it up and use the the material, the, the plastic. So, jeez, okay. That piece, um... A friend of mine bought for me at a, like a consignment shop, I think it was. And if you remember, this used to hold all my spooled ribbons. But now it's holding all my felt and vinyl materials. And these were, the majority of these came off spools. They were from Hobby Lobby. The rest, they were laying flat, but I rolled them up so I can keep them all together. Because they're similar types of materials. And then these were folders from Dollar Tree that get cut down. And... All the, the um, well, Hobby Lobby felt patterned. And down below is the Hobby Lobby glitter stuff and Amazon stuff. Here are all the thick, solid colored felt that I love to use. And I use these felts on my, as my inside covers. And then down here is vinyl um, and foiling. And in here is all these goodies that I also use for planners. Oh, and my yarn, whatever yarn I kept. I don't have a lot of yarn anymore. Okay, so we are actually at the end of this video. <laughs> I'm going to pop this back in because I intend on cutting it down, making it flat so I could just stick it here. Uh, my sewing machine is up there. Sorry, I got to get up. Whew. Okay, it's hot in here. I just vacuumed too, so the vacuum... 
gives off heat. So let me back it up one more time and just give you a quick look again at all these pieces. That's my window out into the parking lot. Oh, and I didn't show you behind the door. One more thing I forgot. Here is my um, shoe rack for the door with whatever punches I have left. After a while, because of all the weight, it was starting to, as you can see, rip the holes. But my husband put thumbtacks in everywhere so it wouldn't keep going. Because since you keep opening and closing the door, it's just going to move this around. And it keeps, you know, going back and forth. So now at least there's less weight. Plus he put in those tacks in there. But that's all the punches I have left. Okay, everyone. So that's it. That is my latest room tour for June 2019. Of course, it'll change. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say it's not. Because I'm never done. Um, I do hope, though, that I can move one day. And have a different space, even if it's smaller. If it's smaller, then I have that challenge, which I love challenges, to make it work, you know? So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.